Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Liverpool in much need of a win coming off of an embarrassing 4-1 defeat to Tottenham last weekend. And the Reds got the job done in resounding fashion at Anfield, winning 3-0 over Huddersfield Town. So, you know, I'm sure Jurgen Klopp didn't necessarily love having to put the beating on one of his best friends, uh, manager David Wagner. But look, the wag is in the bag. He got binned, and uh, look, you know, the better team won. Liverpool outclassed Huddersfield in the second half. A pretty stale and uninspiring performance in the first half, uh, but you know, the Reds got the job done. Uh, a great goal from Daniel Sturridge. Loved his performance overall. You know, I've been watching some of Sturridge's play, you know, when, from his earlier days at Liverpool, and sometimes, you know, it's hard to believe that he's the same player because, you know, he's struggled so much when it used to come uh, so easy for him. So perhaps today uh, could be a turning point. You know, Philippe Coutinho uh, was left out of the lineup. He's uh, been hurt. So, you know, uh, we'll see if that opens the door for Sturge to get more playing time. He rarely ever plays with Roberto Firmino. Perhaps they don't have the best partnership with one another. But hey, both scored today. I know Jurgen Klopp was delighted to score off of a set piece, uh, as Firmino did to put the Reds up 2-0. And Gini Wijnaldum's goal was uh, tremendous as well. Just a great attacking play from him. You know, with Coutinho out of the lineup, uh, it became more. There became more of an impetus uh, for Gini to get involved in the attack, and he did so very, very well. You know, uh, I have to give credit once again to. Uh, Albi Moreno, you know, Moreno continuing to work hard, improve and get better. I've been one of his biggest critics, but, you know, as long as he keeps improving, I, there's not really too much I can say in the way of negativity. I will still say that I believe in Andy Robertson and would love to see uh, him get his chance at some point soon. I do like that uh, Jurgen Klopp benched Emre Chan. You know, Chan will not commit his future to the club. Uh, word has it that it's because he wants a relatively cheap release clause. If he just wants 30 mil, that's absurd. He is worth twice that in today's transfer market. So, Milner, Henderson, Wijnaldum, not the most mobile of midfields. You know, mobility has been an issue uh, for the midfield throughout the season. So, with that became more, like I said, you know, more of a priority for Genie to move forward. So I'm glad Klopp gave him more uh, attacking freedom. Joel Matip looked a little bit unsteady at times. Uh, you know, Ragnar Klavan did okay, okay. Uh, you know, Dijan Lovren was actually picked to uh, play in this game initially, but because he got hurt right before the match, that opened up room for Klavan to take the spot. Mignolet wasn't all that challenged. Um, and, you know, looking uh, up top, was delighted, like I said, to see Firmino and Sturridge both score. Salah had a disappointing performance in the day, not just because he missed the penalty, but I will say that anytime Milner is on the field and there's a penalty given, he has to take it. He's the closest thing to automatic since DBG retired. So, you know, he really has to be the one to take the kicks from the spot, but just a crucial result for the Reds because there was a brutal loss to Tottenham the previous week. You know, important to build that momentum uh, ahead of the home match against uh, Marabor in the Champions League on Wednesday. Should be very interesting to see how Liverpool consolidate momentum. Can they stay on top of the group in the Champions League while they continue uh, to struggle in the Premier League? But today could perhaps be uh, a corner turn. So as always, Reds fans, thank you so much for tuning in and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.